the co-owners of Brick Fire Tavern to tell us how they went from the travel industry into the restaurant business. I was originally born in New York, in Queens, moved here when we were 10, but have been here ever since. And I, ever since I was a child, I've loved pizza. And uh, that's really the one thing about me is I love pizza. My name is Ventura Marks, co-owner of Brick Fire Tavern. Born and raised on Oahu. I went to UNLV as a journalist major. Always loved cooking. When I graduated, came back, went to KCC Culinary School, didn't graduate, decided that I wanted a nine to five job. But when I met Matt, I decided that our dreams of owning a restaurant should come true. I went into first hotel management at the Fairmont in Sonoma, and then I transferred back to Oahu and actually started working at Mary Charles and Associates MCNA. Um, who's the premier island destination management company. For about 10 years, I knew I wanted to own a restaurant, and I just thought, um, at some point when I retire, that will be my retirement plan, so open up a restaurant. So about three years ago, we were talking, and he said that, you know, we always wanted to open a restaurant. He loves pizza, me having a background working at California Pizza Kitchen. It took about six months to actually convince me that it was a good idea to basically quit my job, move to Italy, train in Italy, and then open up a restaurant. Neapolitan pizza was something very special. We, we quickly learned that that is the style we wanted to focus on. We quickly became convinced that it was the best style of pizza. You could go to LA or New York and study with the Association of Pizza, uh, pizza Makers, the VPN, and also it's about a one week course. Or you could go to Italy and actually submerge yourself in the culture and learn how they do it in Italy. And you could spend a month in Italy for the same cost you could spend a week in San Francisco. It definitely was tough. They are very much into structure and they're very adamant about keeping it up to certain standards. So every day from 9 a.m. to about maybe 3, 4 p.m., all training. We get about an hour break, then we go stage at another restaurant. They would yell at you no matter what because they're passionate. They want to make sure that when you bring it back to the U.S., that you are doing it right. To be Italian is to use what's fresh and local, not to just use tomato sauce, not just to you know put Parmesan and everything or olive oil finish. Uh, what truly is to be Italian is use what's fresh and local. We learn this every day walking to and from the school. We would stop in the market every single day and pick up something fresh that day and make a dinner out of it. I love that. And that's something that we brought to our menu here at Brick Fire Tavern. We want to make everything fresh as much as possible. So everything from dressing to pulling our own mozzarella cheese fresh every single day. Also using local ingredients, local products, farm to table, that sort of thing, supporting our local vendors. In addition to our pizzas, we also offer great salads. All of our soups, which right now is our wild mushroom soup, is homemade. And we also have house meatballs, which are a play off the Neapolitan polpetta, which are the actual original meatballs of the South. Our meat and cheese platter is a combination of several different types of meat. We also pair that with different cheeses and different accoutrements, uh, such as olives from Sicily, or um, we always like to put a spicy jam on there or some sort of mustard. We really wanted a urban, hipster type of feel. I always wanted something that had brick. When I came here, I knew it was the place to be. And especially because there's so many new places that are popping up that have just that feel, that urban feel. I just knew that this was the right location. We wanted to do an American up, and during the latter part of our time, we actually met Stefano Ferrara and his son Simone. And his son is our age and took us around Naples, so we really developed a strong relationship with them. We went to their factory, and as Interior mentioned, we got to pick certain stones on the oven that are only made in Italy, because I was glass. So that was something that she commissioned in Naples while we were there, and it kind of resulted as a friendship that we developed with the Ferrara family um, during our time in Italy. 
we bought the oven while we were in Italy in 2015. So we actually got the oven for a reasonable rate. So that was fantastic. Then we learned getting that oven from Naples to Honolulu would cost yeah. twice the amount of the oven. <laughs> in Italy, we learned that you actually want two different types of wood, a more dense wood to maintain heat and cold, and then a more porous wood to maintain flame. So we chose Chiave because Chiave is a great plain wood. Um, it also maintains its heat quite well and it has a very nice smell and ambiance. And the ironwood is kind of our workhorse. We burn those logs um, several at a time and build a coal pile to kind of keep that oven up at 900 degrees because we need it 900 to 1000 to cook the pieces in 60 to 90 seconds. We just work well. We are really yin and yang. And I think that it really takes that certain person to uh, gel together. Um, are there surprises? Yes, all the time. It is never, ever a dull moment in the restaurant industry. And as long as you have someone that is also a true partner that will have your back, like Matt, it'll all work out for the best. The past three years has been a, a journey that I'm quite proud of. I'm very happy with the restaurant that we've built together. The design aspects, you know, I could never have figured out how to make such a beautiful spot. And she really nailed that. And food same thing we're both yin and yang on the food one thing that we always have agreed upon is the quality of product that we want to deliver and the fact that with Enzo Kocha at our back and learning you know the proper ways that we both have the vision that we want to be certified we want to be the first one on Oahu to have the designation of a Vera Pizza Napolitana we're working on the process now. We met with them in March. Um, we're going through the video authentication with them and hoping soon that they come here and actually give us that plaque that we can hang proudly on the door and say we are true Neapolitan pizzeria. Definitely expansion is um, a goal of ours and something we're working hard to achieve. Just remember it's Brick Fire Tavern, not Brick Oven Pizza. We got much more coming up, so stick around.